6J discuss and or ratify 2009-10 master contract? We've got a recommendation for one uh, master contract. We've settled negotiations pending um, ratification of the contract. Um, you can see the costing sheet um, on the next page, and that would be for Walleye Q Auburn. Uh, it's a 3.5% total package, and there were a few language changes, but none of the language changes had any dollar or, or money effects on ratification of this. Uh, the association's first time that they could get together, I believe it's tomorrow night or Thursday night. Um, but uh, they've taken it to their members, and um, their negotiating team does not believe ratification will be a problem. So I'd ask you to ratify the master contract um, for um, Walleye to Auburn, and the financial piece of it is a 3.5% total package. Any questions? For the discussion, if what were some of the language issues? Oh, we moved the language around so that it was in the same article oh, as just back. Movement, or? Um, and we, um, oh, we defined more fully um, in a couple of areas what the language meant. It was so unimportant, actually, I can hardly remember it. We had a couple instances where we language didn't match practice. Mm. And Cleaned up. The first three articles of SACS and Walleye Fee Auburn's contracts were different, and so uh, we asked uh, Walleye Fee Auburn to adopt the first three articles that SAC had. Um, and so it yeah, won't affect our practices any. Mm -hmm. so. I move we accept. A second. Or ratify, I guess. Yeah. Okay. You knew what I meant, John. to approve the, uh, the uh, master contract for 2009-10 for the LBA. Those in favor? Yes. Yes. Aye. Yes. Opposed? The SAC contract, Brent, Doug, and I met in mediation last Thursday with the SAC Education Association. Uh, our final offer was a two-year contract with a 3.5% increase, which was aging and insurance, aging the schedule and insurance. Um, one of the things that the association um, wanted was uh, personal leave that was that's the same as Walleye Fee Auburn's. SAC currently has three, three days of personal leave, and Walleye Fee Auburn has three days of personal leave and two additional days where they pay the substitute and all of the associated costs with the sub that are kind of like emergency days if they need something in addition. So they can't take dock days of pay, but those would be those additional days. We said we would give them one of those um, additional days next year and the second one of them the following school year. And um, we really came to agreement, I think it's fair to say, on a two-year contract at 3.5. And the thing that we differ on is the uh, personal leave days, they wanted both of them this next school year, and we offered one each of the next two school years. So unless we come to agreement before then, we'll be headed to arbitration. So. Uh, just other note, didn't we also offer them a, a another lane, MA, MA plus, plus 36? 36. Yeah, yep. so they received that too. Um, I don't have exact negotiations. Oh yeah, I thought yeah, we, yeah, did we, come to all a, yeah we did come to an agreement with them about Schedule B because we, and you're going to see it um, down the row here a little bit with these assistant softball and baseball coaches. We have some real difference in pay between the two districts for uh, various Schedule B um, positions. And two union people from SAC, two from Wallace to Auburn, Larry Tilling, Houston, and I met and sat down and tried to work out a plan about how could we more how could this be more equitable uh, on, on what some of these, these differences in pay were? And one of the things we took a look at was taking the salary schedule for Schedule B for Walleye Fee Auburn has um, seven years. It's called experience, year one through year seven, but we decided we could call it step. So it was just step one through seven. And we took all of the SAC employees and just put them, dropped them into that schedule. So they weren't going to make less money but we'd see what lane or what step they were closest to, and we didn't know what that would cost. So the next day, I asked John to calculate what the costs were, 
and the difference was about $2,100 to take people and move them to that schedule. So for all of the Schedule B people, they'd all be on the same plan. <coughs> so if I was a first year wrestling coach and I was working on a SAC contract, I might move on to step four. That might be the closest step for me um, in the Walleye Few Auburn schedule. We agreed that we wouldn't call it Walleye Few Auburn's base. It would say that that, that that number that the schedule's figured on would always just be described as a negotiated number. But the uh, union agreed to that, so it seemed fair because it would put everybody, it was another place where there's lots of inequity. SAC pays more in some places and Walleye Few Auburn pays more in some places. So you could be coaching with somebody um, who's an assistant that, I don't think this happens, but an assistant who might make more than a head coach. But tonight, for instance, we're going to hire assistants on two separate contracts and there's a sizable difference between what they're paid. And actually in negotiations, we did come to that agreement with them. So I think we came down to a personal day. Um, that's what the difference is. So that's more a report to you about where we're at. And Does a Wall Lake uh, contract, a two-year contract also? No. But if we'd have thought of it, we would have negotiated that. We didn't intend on a two-year contract for SAC, but in part of the give and take of mediation, we said, well, you know what, you can have X if we can have a two-year contract. Is that a two-year contract at 3.5 a year? Or yes, that's 3.5 per year. I see. Yep. And we have agreements between both unions to meet jointly to work on insurance coverage that has higher deductibles than what it currently does. And both unions asked to have commit, uh, insurance committees set up because they have members wanting higher deductibles than what we currently offer. Doug or Brent, you got any comments? I guess you guys have been sitting in there. You know, Can I some later recommendations? Or I don't have any. How much time do they have to get back to you? I actually don't know. I haven't. I don't know. I've never d been involved in arbitration, so I don't know. Okay. And I kind of hoped maybe we, in the next week or 10 days, get it figured out. So maybe that was my pipe dream, too. I don't know.